We are rolling. We're rolling. Hey guys. I haven't done a vlog this week because my eye, is it this eye? Yeah. This eye has been, uh, I got a sty in my eye, so I've been looking really funny, but now it's finally back to normal again. Almost. But, yeah, it's nice. You're pretty again. Oh, thank you. Today we're going to uh, Bali. I'm super excited, but our flight leaves in three hours. So now I have to start packing my bags. I haven't even started yet. And I thought I would show you uh, what I bring on a trip to Bali and how I pack and how I think. Sounds yeah. good? Sounds perfect. Okay, so let's pack. Step one is that I go through all my wardrobes and I just th throw everything out that I want to bring in the middle of the floor. Do it. I will do it. So not like organizing straight from the wardrobe to the bag? No, because I have too much stuff, so I don't really see what I have. Oh, I'm bringing this for sure. Look at this, how cute. So you just make a big mess of everything on the floor? Yes. That's the best way to pack. I would never understand girls. <laughs> My question is, how many pants will you bring to Bali? Maybe one pair that I travel in. Okay. In case, you never know. How many bikinis? <laughs> Too many. So, total mess is now complete. Yeah, now I always fold everything together so I see what I have and then if I have matching outfits and then I pick the shoes I want to bring. Before I started vlogging I didn't have this much luggage but now I just love taking photos and I have outfits I want to shoot and yeah, life yeah. of a blogger. So step two, folding. Girls always bring too much. Now I just have to pick out matching shoes. Bring them out. Step three, shoes. Do you think that's enough for going to Bali? I don't know. You know that we're going to be on the beach 95% of the time, right? I know, but it's so hard. Like I'm used to going out shooting outfits and that's what I, why I pack all the heels. I'm sure I'm not going to use them as much. But, but I still want to bring them. Yeah, but you've gotten pretty good at not bringing, you know, the pants and like all, all the stuff you usually bring when you go somewhere warm. Yeah, I'm not going to wear pants, so I won't like travel in them, and that's it. Oh, I need to bring uh, glasses as well. Glasses. Let me show you part of Yanni's sunglass collection. Yeah, but I use them. See, me and the lady, we have very different opinion of, on what's a nice pair of sunglasses. Yeah, those look good. They're yours. I know, they look good. You should bring those. Don't you want to bring them? No, I have plenty. I have two other ones. Oh, okay. And then, okay, so I don't like these. I'm going to bring them anyway. I like black sunglasses. Yeah? Black is way more like, like classy and... They're okay. And these? Cool. I like them. Told you. Yeah, you picked up pretty good ones. Always. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't bring those round hippie ones. You mean these? They're like semi-hippie, but those are my least favorite of the ones you brought. Black right. sunglasses are better. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is what I'm going to have in my uh, carry-on. An extra bikini, an extra dress, an extra day dress, a pair of heels in case of emergency. In case your stuff gets lost. Exactly. So now the question is, how many bikinis are you bringing? Not that many, actually. You want to show me which ones you bring? Swimsuit, 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 swim. Oh, this is a bikini. Swimsuit. I have swim. these for surfing. So basically, you have two surf wetsuits, a lot of swimsuits, oh, and then you have the bikini bag. Yeah, I have maybe like six bikinis. Can we go bikini shopping? Yeah. I'm a huge fan of bikini Do you shopping. you think I need more bikinis? This I think is my bikini. That whole thing is bikinis? Yeah. Okay, do you think this bag is big enough? Yes. Oh, step. I don't remember what step we're on. But step uh, beauty products. I don't bring that much actually. Should we go and pick it up? You can bring it. It's probably mascara and sunscreen. Exactly. I'll be back. So, this is what I bring dry shampoo, 
sunscreen for the face and the body and this tiny hair curler. I just found it. <laughs> Deodorant, face cream, perfume, nail polish remover. Oh, and this I want on the flight. Face wipes, that's the best. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Like some nail polish. And makeup wise, you pretty much just have mascara. Yeah, if I use it. Especially now with my eyes like this. I never bring like shampoo and conditioner and stuff because they usually always have it on the hotel. And if they don't, I go and buy it. And never I'm lazy. A, never a towel. No. I think a lot of people travel with towels. Really? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I did before. Yeah, towels and shampoo and stuff. Uh, I think that's a good thing to not bring because it's. Yeah, if you're staying in a in a hotel, you don't need it. No. They usually always have shampoo, conditioner, body lotion. And if not, it's cheap to buy and you don't need to run into the risk of them breaking in your bag and creating exactly. a mess. Exactly. That happened to me and that's not nice. When I uh, fold it, I always fold it in like dresses, tops, shorts, uh, workout clothes, bikinis. So it's all packed like in the correct way. You love your stuff organized. Yeah. Like this. All black. White. Colorful. But it's not organized now, but I even color in my, when, where they hang, I have like black dresses, white dresses, oh, psycho. Well, I like it that way. Well, let's see if it fits. Okay, so I just realized that this is probably not going to fit. What do you think? If I want to buy something over there? I'd say you should lose a couple things and... No. Like what? But we have a bigger bag. Upgrade, size wise. This feels better. So this is a 90 liter bag, which is pretty big for a beach vacation. You should never bring this much. I thought you were supposed to do a video on like tips on how to pack and not overpack. Sorry guys, I failed. Just that I don't know how long we're gonna be there. You never know. Now I have everything I need. Honey, you had such a good plan with this video to show how little, how to pack smart and light. I don't light. think this ever happened to me. Maybe I got stressed from the camera. I usually plan out like how long am I gonna be away? I'm gonna be away for 10 days. And then I know like, okay, I have like 12 outfits maybe. But now we've already changed our ticket to extend the stay once. Exactly. Oh. Cap for the song. I like caps, you should have more caps. See how this goes. Mm. Why are you laughing? Because all you really need is a bikini and flip flops. No. Is it too heavy? <laughs> I actually think not this time. Hold, hold the camera and I will see what I think. No, it's not bad. Good, right? See, this is the standard thing. Every single time Yanni travels, she comes in, Yoon, I think it's too heavy. What do you think? <laughs> But no, I think it's better than it usually is. Good. So you're good. I'm ready. Ready to go. You're all set with all carry-on and everything? No. Nope. Charge nope. computer. I'm just gonna pack down my computer, headphones. Oh. But I told them already about this. Yeah, for those of you that haven't seen the how to travel guide, you have it up in which corner is it again? This corner. Yeah, there I you go. I don't know, is it the correct corner? No. no, this corner. That corner, you can check out the full like carry-on advice. Yeah, like how I travel smooth. So I think I'm all set. Okay, so before we wrap up this video, yeah. five quick questions with traveling with Yanni Delaire. Okay. First question, are you scared of flying? A little bit. I wasn't before, but like the last two years, I had some really bad flights and that made me scared. But I'm not scared until I'm on the plane. And if it starts to sound weird or something, that's when I get scared. Do you sleep well on flights? Sometimes. If I have a sleeping pill. No. <laughs> Sometimes. If I it's a good time, like during the night, I always sleep. Do you prefer to sit on A or F side of the plane? Doesn't matter, but the window seat is the best. Do you work on the plane or do you sleep? I always work and then sleep. What's your favorite hobby to do on the plane if you're not working? Play solitaire. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the card game. Do you prefer to be in the back or in the front of the plane? Front. Do you board first or last on the plane? I prefer first. Because I have my carry-on and I always want to put it up and I don't want them to check the bag in. So that kind of answered my next question. Do you have the luggage in front of the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin? Both. Because I always have a handbag. 
And that's in front. And this one is on top. Girls are cheating with the handbags. No. Anything else? Okay, one final. Okay. What is the longest flight you've ever had? Like in one flight? Yeah. Uh, to Australia. I think it was 14 hours. Cool. Cool. See you soon. Now I have to take a shower and get ready to fly. So do you feel ready to go? I feel ready to go. We packed our bags, we're on our way in the cab, and then we're gonna go to Bali. So I will see you in Bali next time. Ciao!